This newly updated Hunter Stasis build is going to cause ice chaos. You'll run around with infinite abilities freezing and shattering everything in your path, allowing you to become a true ice god. So guys, in today's video, we're going to go over the PvE Hunter build for the Stasis, updated for Season 16 in 2022, and this thing wrecks. Now, if you enjoy these videos, then be sure to leave a rating to show your support as it really helps me out, as these videos do take quite some time to make. Now, this video is sponsored by USMMO. If you're looking for silver at a cheaper price, be sure to check them out below along with my discount code. And now, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and share for more. And now, let's get frosty. So firstly the background gameplay will be the new PsyOps Battlegrounds to show you how you effectively use this build in most PvE content. Now you can take this into more endgame PvE like a Legend or Master activity, although it may be a little harder to use as they are the most difficult activities in the game. So you will die much quicker running up to adds to freeze and shatter them in comparison to doing it in an easier game mode. But this build is one of the best setups if you do want to use a Hunter with the Stasis subclass for PvE. Now how this build basically works is you'll first run up to a bunch of adds and throw your Stasis wall down. Then you'll jump up into the air and shatter dive into that wall freezing and shattering everything nearby. This will create Stasis shards which when picked up will grant ability energy. You'll dodge every now and again since you'll have really fast abilities and then getting a kill right after dodging will spawn a void element as well. This will give you volatile rounds to your void weapons and if preferred damage resistance on top which are amazing for endgame PvE. From there you'll run around killing everything with your abilities, melee and grenades, spawning more stasis shards and then just repeat. We will be using the frosties which will stack with our 100 armor stats to make our ability cooldowns much quicker so that we can get our infinite abilities. Now when it comes comes to choosing a loadout, the best choices to use would be void weapons like a funnel web or a grid skipper, as we will be using a volatile rounds with these to make them much better. But I'll choose your loadout based on the activity you're playing and not based on what you want to run for the build. But a fun one to use is the Aegis Scepter, although I wouldn't take that into endgame PvE. My ideal loadout for endgame is an Arbalest, which would cover the barriers and all match game shields and then a funnel web for overloads or a grid skipper for unstoppables. So as this is a stasis build, we will be running the stasis subclass and I would throw on a gambler's dodge so that we can get our melee straight back when dodging near an enemy, along with the stasis wall grenade, as this is what the build is mostly built around for freezing and shattering adds, which is amazing for ad clearing in large groups. So using this build in things like a Psyops Battlegrounds is really effective, but the aspects you'll want are Grim Harvest, where defeating a slowed or frozen combatant creates stasis shards, and then these shards picked up will grant us mainly energy, and using this aspect will give us two fragment slots. But the second aspect is gonna be Shattered Dive, so that you can quickly shatter those crystals. And you can actually use this with an Eager's Edge Sword to yeet across the map in seconds, which is your speedrun strat, but also pretty fun to play around with as well. But for the fragments, the first one will be Whisper of Fissures, which will increase the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a crystal or defeat a frozen target. You want this on 100% because this is something that you'll do a lot, but the second fragment is Whisper of Refraction to get class ability energy when defeating those adds. Next, we have Whisper of Torment to get grenade energy when we take damage. One of my favourite fragments but the last one is Whisper of Shards where shattering that stasis wall will boost our grenade recharge rate. Now considering our base cooldown for a grenade is two and a half minutes, using this fragment with 100 discipline and the Frosty's boots while taking damage you're gonna get that grenade back in about five to ten seconds. Like it's not even funny how quick you can get it back. Just make sure you do shatter that wall when you use it though. Now the exotic we're using is the Frosty's and what this does is increase the grenade melee and dodge regen while sprinting and dodging increases your sprint speed. This does stack with your stats being maxed out like the Warlock's Eye of Another World and this increase is I believe 100% which doubles that regen speed. So this is an amazing exotic to use not just for the stasis subclass but for any subclass you want to use and have faster abilities in general. Now moving to the mods we're going to use elemental shards because this will make those shards count as elemental wells which is good as picking up those wells will give us ability energy to all our abilities and not just our melee. So slot this on along with the next mod which is going to be well of restoration to give us additional energy to our ability with the lowest energy 
energy when we pick up those elemental wells and shards. Now I'm also using melee wellmaker because it's just so easy to get melee kills with this build and the stasis melee is one of the best abilities for the hunter. So using this on adds will spawn elemental wells but we're also using reaping wellmaker to spawn a void well when getting a kill with our weapon after dodging and then picking up that well will give us volatile rounds to avoid weapons as we'll use volatile flow which is this seasonal mod for this season. If you want you can swap this or swap your melee wellmaker to a well of tenacity to gain that damage resistance but it is up to you and what you prefer but I wouldn't replace those stasis elemental well mods though. For our normal armor mods we have in the helmet our ammo finder mods then in the gauntlets our champion mod followed by grenade kickstart for extra grenade energy when using it. Swap this to a champion mod if you need to but for the chest we have thermoshock plate in for this season's new seasonal mod as well as our ammo reserves. Then our scavenger mod for the legs and then with the class utility kickstart with a distribution as we will be dodging your enemies anyway to get our melee straight back. And with this full setup you really shouldn't have to worry about not having any abilities because everything combined just works really well together for chaining those abilities one after another. If you are going into endgame PvE though, I would recommend you swap those mods in the class for a Lucent Finisher because this mod is just too good, you really can't get enough of that heavy ammo by just finishing champions. Now the armor stats, the first one you want to max to 100 as a priority is going to be that discipline for your grenades as that is what the main ability of this build is but once you've achieved that then I'd max out mobility second or recovery either is fine but as a long term goal to master this build you want 100 mobility recovery and discipline. Now this build is one of my favorite hunter builds and I use this thing all the time in the grasp dungeon mostly for speedrunning with an eager's edge sword but it is a really fun build to use in all types of content. I personally wouldn't use this when you're doing things like a dungeon or raid boss so I would swap over to a tether with Mervius Quiver for that extra DPS. You'd only really use this when you need that effective ad clearing in mid tier PvE. But guys that is your new updated hunter stasis build with infinite abilities in Destiny 2 Witch Queen Season of the Risen. Next as always don't forget to check out the full build playlist down below for more insane builds to use in Destiny 2 this season for season 16 in 2022. And let me know down below what you think of this one but guys I've been Divide. Have a good one and I'll see you all in the next build video. Peace out.